And also, what about the one, uh, where have all the good men gone? That was even before that one. Oh, okay. That was actually a That was a follow-up to A Good Man is Hard to Find. That was written by the late, great Reverend David Payton and his wife, um, Pearl. Um, they um, had that show, and that was like my first touring uh, stage production that I'd ever been in which was um, a phenomenal experience because it afforded me the, the opportunity to, to train on the job, so to speak. Okay. And to be a part of this whole genre of entertainment called musical theater that um, pretty much changed my life. Uh, that's why I guess with uh, Wonder, uh, I'm encouraging to her because there has to be the next wave of great playwrights. Absolutely. There are so many stories that need to be told, and everybody may not have the gift to be able to tell them. So when God sends somebody to tell those stories, and especially when these people don't realize just how much it takes to make these stories, then um, it's imperative, it's important that people get out and support, you know, people like who want to be because it's not an easy task to, to mount these shows and to get the cast members together and to get all of the people excited about coming to see it and the rehearsals and the money that's put into it, all the way down to the snacks and the food and the gas money and everything else that goes into putting up this production, especially those people that seem to say, like, oh, I can do that. I challenge you to do it. I challenge you to try it. Yes. Because everybody's not able to do it. You know, and God has selected a few people to do this and do it well. Because a lot of times you can do them and they can be poorly produced and poorly done. But if you got the right person that's going to learn you to do it, then all the other things will fall together for the good. That is so true. So now what can we expect on uh, on Saturday? I've been in a good show. Um, I'm coming in to uh, sort of introduce it, to show my support for her production. Okay. Uh, say hello. Uh, smile at a couple people. Hopefully get a chance to meet and greet some people there. I have a DVD that I'll be selling there. Okay. Uh, my um, clean comedy DVD called Carling, Calling Card, where I have a bunch of my very talented friends who are involved on the... Um, videoing the um, DVD as well as some stand-ups that I did on there as well. Okay. So there's, uh, it's, a, um, it's a DVD that actually the whole entire family can watch. Wonderful, wonderful. So we'll be looking forward uh, to that. Now, um, we have been enjoying, uh, tell us a little bit more about we've been enjoying Love Thy Neighbor. Right. Which comes on tonight, as a matter of fact. Absolutely. I told him that. I said, now, I don't know. I have time worn. I did tell him. I said, so I'm on Channel 29. So, you know, turn it on tonight. But I don't miss it uh, on Wednesday night. I appreciate that. Yes. We certainly do enjoy it. Well, we're going to be looking forward uh, to seeing you uh, on Saturday at the Elizabethtown Middle School. Uh, the doors open up at 4 p.m., and the show starts at 5 p.m., and our very own is going to be hosted by our very own uh, Mr. Palmer Williams, Jr., uh, from uh, Love Thy Neighbor, and uh, we're just excited. So um, is there anything that you want to say to your audience before we uh, let you go? Well, you know, actually, a long time ago, I've, I've been to this town a long time ago when it was very hard to find back in, like, 1994. Okay. I, I haven't been there since. It's been a very long time since I've been there. I look forward to, to being there. I'm trying to remember, you know, the, the, the town other than by the name. But um, it's been quite some time since I've been there. I'm looking forward to, you know, to going and touching and feeling folks that, you know, that are have supported the shows that I've been involved in and 
I'm looking forward to being entertained by the one this show. Um, you know, because most of the time I'm the one that's on stage performing. Now, maybe doing a little something while I'm there, but at the same time I'm looking forward to seeing back and actually watching a show. So, it's, I mean, it's six and a half hours to come and enjoy a show, but at the same time, like I said, you know, we have to support one another. Yes. Business because, you know, it's the few and far between that actually get to this point and get to this level to be able to even put on a performance. So, you know, we have to show our support. And she is a phenomenal actress with the uh, the production that we did in Atlanta. And that's how we actually uh, got connected because of working with her on two occasions with the production that was here in Atlanta that she was one of the stars in. And she's a very good student of the craft. So that's why I look forward to a good show, because she listens, she learns, she's not too stubborn to where she knows all the answers, you know, because I don't know all the answers. You know, none of us do. But when you're willing to listen and learn like that, it just shows that, you know, you're, you're being obedient yes. to the will of God over your life, to listen to those that may have done this, and even if some people that are not that honorable that are telling you things about the business, you know, you use your discernment and figure out, you know, the things that are of God and those that are not, and you implement them into your own production, especially if you're doing something that's for the glory of God. So um, I applaud her for getting to this point, because like I said, this is not an easy task, and uh, I admire and I'm proud of her for taking this on and I look forward to a pretty show. I look forward to meeting some folks there in Elizabethtown that I may not have ever met in my life. And I think we'll just, well, I think we'll just have a good time. We'll have fun. We get to see everybody. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to acting a fool as well. <laughs> I may be sounding very calm right now. And that's because I'm, I'm actually uh, waiting at the bus stop for my baby girl. Okay. Uh, she actually is... Uh, in ROTC in high school now, her first year, and they had that big drill competition today, so I'm pretty daddy proud right now, so I'm going to take her and get something to eat and all that kind of stuff to show her my appreciation on it going well. Well, that is wonderful. Well, tell her we applaud her, too, and uh, we are just so grateful that you uh, called in today and so glad that Wanda... Uh, did call you and let you know, hey, I gave, you, I didn't give you all the numbers, and I'm just so glad that you were so persistent because I was sitting here, I said, okay, because I got in a little early. I said, now, let me make sure I read over everything because, you know, sometimes I have a problem. I leave my glasses, and they, oh, wow. <laughs> they laugh at me. I said, where's my glasses, my glasses? So I bought my glasses. I'm going to tell you like this. I was saying to myself, now, see, I'm going to have to make sure I get this number because I want to do this interview. First of all, I do want to do it. I, I'm one of the people that love to do interviews. Unlike some people kind of get, like, a little funkiness about it. I have an attitude, but I'm not that brother. But what happens is I was like, I ain't going to have no attitude with me because now, oh, yeah, Floyd acting like a big old dealer. <laughs> you know, he can't call down here to be on our radio station and all that kind of stuff. I, you know how we do. Yes, yes. Like, oh, all right, y'all ain't going to be talking about me. That's <laughs> right. I make sure I talk to the folks and just come on out, have a good time. You know, we're going to have a good time up there. I'm looking forward to it. If I'm going to drive six and a half hours to come and, and host the show, you know I'm serious about that thing. Absolutely. Because I'm telling you, I... I'm about to get up at old dark 30 to get there in time to get me a nap in so that I can have a good time. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to it. And we're in great expectation of you coming. We're looking forward to you coming, just having a wonderful time. And... Uh Again, we're just excited, and we say thank you so much. And I know I'm just as excited as I could be to talk to you over the air. And I'm looking forward to seeing you tonight on Love Thy Neighbor. Don't forget, Elizabeth Town is at 9 o'clock. Well, I know for whatever was on last week, you can see that tonight at 8 o'clock. But um, the new episode... 830 be the time for the, the episode before. Okay. That's right. That's right. So, well, I'll be I'll be uh, tuned in right on the couch. Okay. 
appreciate that. Now, if people want to uh, tweet me, because I'll be doing a live tweeting during the show, it'll be Palmer Williams J. Okay, Palmer. Is, is, is tweet me at Palmer Williams J. Okay, Palmer. I guess my name was too long to put the R on there for you. Okay, okay. Okay, so she said, all right, Elizabeth Town, you have heard. And, uh, again, we're excited, and we say thank you again for taking out time out your busy schedule to call. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Saturday. I'm excited. Okay. Well, you'll be blessed until then. Make sure y'all bring y'all a couple extra dollars so you can get that DVD so you have some gas money to get back home. <laughs> Have a good time. You know, like I say, I'm gonna be after the show. I'm, uh, uh, make sure you don't put no lipstick on my on my suit because I'm gonna be hugging everybody. Cause I'm a hugger. I don't shake hands other than with brothers. And then even sometimes, you know, we do the old African brother type uh, 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 hug. So I'm a hugger. Uh, you know, I love on people, and I and I'm, I'm planning on coming there and and loving on you, Elizabeth Town. So don't don't disappoint me, and I don't see you in the house that, that night. All right. Well, you heard it. Elizabeth Town, he's coming. He's coming. And we will be there at Joe's. So I've talked to a lot of people. They said we got our ticket. We'll see. We'll be there. And I believe it. So we look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Most definitely. I look forward to it as well. All right. Well, you be blessed and be safe until then, okay? God bless you. God bless. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.